I'll have some onion rings. Onion rings, you said? Yes. What size? Uh, about small. And I'll also have a uh, double steak burger, double cheese burger. Just a, just a burger with only ketchup and mayonnaise. I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Double steak burger, double cheese with only ketchup and mayonnaise. Uh, steak freak with only ketchup and mustard. Double steak burger, ketchup and mustard? No, steak frank, only ketchup and mustard. Oh, steak frank, ketchup and mustard? Oh, would you like the meal or just a hot dog? Can the meal come with a shake? Uh, it, it does not come with a drink, so... Oh, okay. Uh, so I just kind of, so it's just a burger and fries. For the steak frank? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll have some fries too. It is National Friday, so what the heck? So, yeah, I also have a chocolate shake, a large chocolate shake. Chocolate shake? Yes, large. Anything else? That'll be all. Yes. Anything else? That'll be all. All right, sir, your total is 1756. Please close to the Hi, welcome to Jamie's Product Reviews. The Steak and Shake of Batavia. And earlier this year, I believe, or maybe, maybe it was last year, that they, they temporarily closed their location. Can't remember if it was for lack of employees or lack of business or maybe something to do with COVID, but anyway, they're open again. And I sure miss them because I know there's been a lot of uh, negative reviews about them online, but Based on my experience today, I found nothing wrong with with, with my drive through experience. The person who took my order, as you heard, was quite nice, and my order came pretty, pretty, pretty at a very reasonable time. As far as my drive through experience, I, I can't complain about that. But anyway, here's their, their new uh, burger. It's the, I think it's like double steak, double cheese. And I, I just ordered mine with mayo and ketchup only. So. Here it is, right here. Here, I'll just do this real quick. So, let's not waste any time. Oh yeah. Yeah, Steak and Shake delivers as well as ever. I've got no complaints about this other than the size, but you know, this burger is just as hot, fresh, and juicy as ever. This is just an awesome burger. Only thing I can kind of um, nitpick about maybe the burger is a little on the, on, the, on the small side considering the price I paid for this. Yeah, I think Steak and Shake has maybe raised the prices a little bit, and the stuff that's been going on in the past couple years you know whether it's with 
business or with COVID or whatever, but yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm paying a lot for this small size, but it's worth it because I, I'm just not going to complain about it other than that. It gets a 5 out of 5 easily. I love Steak and Shake's burgers. I don't know why I don't go to Steak and Shake more often. Well, when they're open anyway. I mean, I think Steak and Shake is one of the most underrated businesses there are. I know that a lot of them locations have been closing in the past year or so, but hopefully, hopefully things will turn around next year or two and, and more locations will open instead of the opposite. Because uh, people need to, we need to introduce Sticky Shake to other parts of this country, maybe even, maybe even other parts of the world as well. Because parts of this world, as well as this country, have no idea what they're missing out on. Why are we Midwesterners always the lucky ones to get places like Sticky Shake and Portillo's and Culver's? But anyway, that's a wonderful burger, and I'll see you next review. Bye bye. Wow, a box and a wrapper. Boy, what all these, these places think of next? <laughs>